What is up, everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed. In today's video, I'm joined with my buddy Brandon B. He has a sticker printing business. He's going to be teaching us all about uh, the basics to basically sticker printing. Uh, Brandon here with me now. Brandon, how's it going, man? Hey, I'm doing pretty good, man. How about yourself? Uh, thank you so much for having me on. I'm excited to talk to you guys about you know what I do. Absolutely, brother. Thanks so much for coming on. Can you kind of start us off by telling us a little bit about your business? I do custom printing, like I make custom shirts. Right now, I'm doing custom stickers. I do everything to from die cut to, you know, shapes and sizes, everything pretty much. I mean, if you want to get anything printed to pictures or your logo, I can do it. Right. And you started with shirts first, right? Before you got into the sticker game? It all started with shirts. Um, all started from watching, you know, Reyes the Entrepreneur. Got the inf got the inspiration from him a bit. And I actually do custom printing for my job, my everyday job. Um, so I've always known about, you know, kind of printing, making custom stuff, making custom apparel. But I've never really gone into it for myself. And last year and earlier this year is where I really decided to take it serious and start scaling up my own business. Super cool, man. So you do this actually full time and then you kind of learned how to do everything and then you started picking up part time a little bit? Yeah, now it's like, I mean, really it's full time for everything now because I go to work, uh, do it, you know, from my nine to five. And then right when I get home, I start working on my own stuff, which is basically the same thing, you know, making custom shirts, making custom stickers, making logos for people, trying to do it all. That's right, brother, grind on stop. And that's one of the things I tell people is like, in your spare time after work whatever that's when you work on your hustle and whenever you get enough business to basically survive off of your hustle that's when you can quit your day job dude so you're doing you're doing awesome can you kind of talk to us about the initial investment of getting into the business yeah so i believe you can start with you know a small amount of money or a big amount of money it's up to you i started with a relatively small amount um about like three hundred dollars just to get you know the initial supplies a heat press um that was mostly for the custom shirts for stickers um i had to buy a printer and an ipad that was almost a grand i would say a solid grand is what i had to invest for that not counting the paper as well like the sticker paper that's you know a couple hundred as well just to get you know some stock of that yeah about a grand you know just to start actually getting into it start taking orders and start doing it efficiently were you kind of self-taught on the internet as far as the stickers go or was that something you were doing um in your day job yeah, so the stickers, I mean, the stickers is something I've always wanted to do for like a long time now. You know, who doesn't want to make their own custom stickers, like legit ones? It's just there's so many uh, processes that are super expensive and that not a lot of people can get into really easily. So I started kind of doing research on YouTube. I started watching some videos, kind of learning what I can do on my own to start printing. And yeah, after doing some research just on YouTube and kind of on the web, like, you know, as far as different labels, different sticker paper, different materials I could use, I just went for it, you know, got my printer, got an iPad and started getting to work. How have you built this business up until this point? Like, how did you kind of establish that first clientele? Yeah, so, well, I think what everyone starts with is like their friends and family. Um, I kind of started with that, but I started mostly on Instagram, reaching out to any followers I had, any friends or family, like I said, and uh, just kind of letting them know what I'm doing, you know, what I got going on. If anyone needs anything that I can help them out, I'll take the time, you know, more than anyone else, you know, I'll go the extra mile for them. And that's really where it started. Um, even now, I'm starting to scale it up even more just by really going on social media full on. So I don't want you to give away all the secrets to how you make these stickers, but can you kind of walk <laughs> through the steps? Because it does seem like quite a few steps in order to get, you know, yeah. stickers. No, I mean, there, there's definitely a lot of steps. Once you get the steps down, it kind of becomes a little repetitive but you always have to figure out, just like with any other job, there's always the hurdles and the, the bumps that you gotta go over. So pretty much what I do is I get uh, the design, I make a cut pattern for it, either die cut, which is actually just like the outer shell of the image, not an actual shape or like a picture, just a square. It's like the actual outline of whatever you want cut out and made into a sticker. Um, I make the cut line for that, 
um, I print the images out. Once the images are printed out, I coat them in a um, in a clear vinyl, and then you know just to give it some extra protection because the sticker paper that I use is actually weatherproof already. But I just want to add that extra layer of protection, which actually doubles up the waterproof, doubles up the weatherproof. I add that extra protection. I press it together with my heat press, no heat, to make sure. I mean, I, I do that for about like 30 minutes just to make sure it's really binded together. Then I take it to the cutter, cut out all the sticker images that I want. Bam, it's done. And we appreciate you recording the process as well so we kind of get like a visual on it. So obviously you've been doing such a good job up until this point, kind of growing the business, kind of figuring everything out. What's the next step for you? Are you planning on scaling it, continue this, or what's going to happen next, man? Um, I definitely want to scale it up. You know, I'm trying to get it to the point where I can do this full time, have it my full income. You know, I just want to do this all day i mean i i pretty much do it all day already so to do it for myself fully would be the goal um so i'm definitely going to scale it up already by buying um some more machines so i can double up the speed and uh just get everything out much quicker i try to get everything out day of or at least two days out but you know if i can get quicker then might as well um i'm always looking to scale it up so you know, hopefully by the end of this year, it'll be my full time job and full time income. And yeah, I don't know, wherever we'll see where it takes me, you know. Beautiful, man. So if people want to get some stickers, obviously, we've seen you make some really cool stuff. I'm probably going to get you to make some for me as well. But if people want to order some, how can they kind of get in touch with you and get some orders? Yeah, man. So uh, I have an email and an Instagram. My Instagram is flare underscore designs. Um, I put it in the video throughout the video if you want to check it out. Um, you can DM me on Instagram. I'm really active on, on that. I also have a Facebook, which is the same thing, flare underscore designs. Um, you can email me at brandon at outlook.com i'll put some links in the comment section description so people can find you real easy awesome dope yeah links will be in the description below <laughs> check them out if you mention this video i will definitely hook you up so um yeah if you're looking for anything as far as logo creation your own custom stickers i've been putting a lot of uh you know family faces on stickers on shirts let me know send me a message uh, we can work something out Okay, beautiful, man. Uh, well, look, dude, thank you so much for coming on. If you guys go hit up Brandon for some stickers, make sure you let him know that Justin sent you. Um, but before I let you go, man, we need a word of the day for anybody who made it this far in the video. So what do you want the word of the day to be? Uh, let's go with Flair. The word of the day is Flair. If you comment down below Flair, I will hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed. Be sure to check out Brandon B's channel, Instagram. I'll leave everything in the comment section in the description. And until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace. Peace.